The following content is not meant for children. Hello, hello, and welcome back. I am Maester Alix, and this is The Outer Worlds, and we are right back. We left off here in Stellar Bay. Now, I've decided to, we're going to do this family matter thing, because that seems like a good idea, and what is this? Is that a workbench, or? Ah, a workbench, just different than what we're used to seeing. All right, so, which way do we want to go? Map. Are you sure? Are you not lying to us? Okay. Oh, hello, box. Okay. Well, don't need Adreno. Certainly not need it. Not badly enough to steal it. All right. Back out to this way. Whew. Hold on to your hats, children. This ride is about to get ugly. I wouldn't doubt it. You reckon the smell ever goes away? Maybe the wind off the sea helps. Maybe. Okay, so... Map, we are going halfway to that other place. So I guess we'll just stick to the road for now. The surprisingly well-lit road. I gotta admit, uh, Spacer's Choice or whomever puts up these roads is a real nice job of it. Thank you for using the gravity hammers. Victor Max. Well done. We are victorious. Yes, we are. Not that I mean, which we don't need. Okay. Cascadia, Fallbrook, Amber Heights, Stellar Bay. Well, that made it easy to figure out. Any of those yellow stuff crates? No. Not obviously. Alright. Yeah, the, the quality of these roads seem really good with the hexagonal tiles and the well-lit center pit. Imagine some of those automated units do really well. Ah, Mad Rodders. They're angry. Bad Raptodon. Even worse Raptodon. Alright. Alright, let's go check out that Med Rotter. Pile of Ash. For me. I'm not asking you to give them mercy. <laughs> Get him, guys. Get him. Right. Weapon parts. Always need those. Those are fun. Oh, hey, box. Thank you. More. Lovely, lovely. Thank you, thank you. Oop. Excellent, excellent. Checking the map. On our way. Well, theoretically, that looks like a potential shortcut. As does this. I think this is more... Yeah. Well, there's a something over there. There we go, we got through the road. Thank you. Huh. Alright. Alright. So it should be just around the corner. Any more Mad Rodders? Oh, Mechanical! Well, let's see. Is 
Let's stick with this. Never anger a man of the cloth. No, no, Ring Leader, you're in limited range, and I have a far greater range. Earth, stop being on fire. Max, are you okay, or...? That's the last of them. Yeah, you're, you'll be fine. Okay, so where's that mechanical? Ah, oh, there it is. Shiny servo. Armor parts. Excellent. Ooh. All right, all right, all right, all right. So many wonderful things to see and possibly steal. Okay. Getting close there. Seeing different flags. Amber Heights Crossroad. Now, before we go in there, A, looting. And B, Quest check. Well, first this, yes. Uh. There we go. And some ranged. Because I found that I've started to do this much more. And, uh, yeah, block none. Some more dialogue. That looks good. Skills. Oh, back. Apply. Yes. Tactical time dilation meter. Nice. Equip time range, weapon reload speed, ability damage, ability cooldown. I have her on base health. Extract mods in the field. Uh... Swaps weapons and reloads much faster. You know, yeah, this this works out real good. Stick with that. All right, back and apply. Excellent. Vicar Max. We have you going down sneaky, heavy-handed. Yep, melee damage, definitely. Science weapon damage, yes. Since you have one, definitely, yes. Reminds me, what about this? Supper time. Yeah. Now we'll give it to someone else. Okay. Well, that's right. Journal. MSI building comes poster. Space crime continuum. I love that. Fallbrook. Okay, we're not quite to Fallbrook yet. It's further down, but... Okay, that's evicted. Is there a back door, maybe? Not that I see. Okay. How about this little campsite over here? Hmm. What have you guys got in here? Stuff. Oh, is it purple berry? Purple berry. Marvelous. Comic smoke. Triple scale pasta pack. No thanks. That, however, yes. Bright control helmet. Mmm. Okay. Ammo, ammo. Yes, mag packs. Love it. Alright, guys. Let's head on in. See what we got up in this place. Let's put our gun away and be nice. Well, hello, and welcome to the home of the Iconoclasts. I'm Rose. Please take a pamphlet. 
In it, you'll find everything you need to know about Graham, his philosophist truths, and the iconoclast way. He wrote it himself, you know. Oh, oh no, I'm so sorry. I keep forgetting. We're out of pamphlets. Gosh, blast it. All right. Um, who are the iconoclasts? Why, we're the only free people in Halcyon. No corporations, no shackles, no problems. No problems? What about the Raptodons or the Marauders? Oh, those are just hurdles. We deal with them as they come. You're welcome to stay with us, so long as you can earn your keep. Hmm. One big fat happy family, eh? That's a nice way to think about it. Graham would be our father. I suppose Zora might make a good mother if the two of them could stop arguing. You can think of those two as our leaders, but they're more like examples. We all ought to be more like them. Tell me about Graham. Why, he's our founder. Graham taught us about philosophism. Through him, we came to the eternal truth. I'm glad you're asking, by the way. I hope you'll consider staying. I wonder what Max thinks. Tell me about Zora. She, well, she's been with us since the beginning. I think she was our sawbones back then, but now she's more like our commander. She goes and finds people in the wilderness and gets them to come here. And she keeps us from being chewed on and whatnot. She's liable to take your head off if you screw up, but then she'll sew it back on for you. Heh. <laughs> Where can I find them? Graham's place is in the large building straight back. Thor is sometimes there talking with him, but usually she's in the triage clinic next door. Why are you here, not in Stellar Bay? Oh, Graham settled here a long time ago. Shoot, I wish I had a pamphlet to give you. It's all in there. I wasn't around back then, but they say a lot of the old MSI corporate folks died here. He calls it a spiritual metaphor, something about rising from the ashes. Okay. Got it. Hey, before I go, I'm looking for Tucker. Have you seen him? The new boy. Yes, he's quite clever. He took to our teachings very quickly. Last I saw him, he was headed into one of the buildings up the hill. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. These people seem awfully nice. And I don't know if it's the emphasis is on nice or awful. Huh. huh. An agitator. Damned philosophists. Everybody here looks wore out. Is it just me? Probably not. Ugh, my stomach. Okay, well that's closed out. What a bunch of junk. Nothing useful in this whole lot. I don't know, you had some useful bypass shunts over there. Huh, a little blue door. Neat. Oh, mag packs, those are always good. Bit cartridges. Heavy machine gun! <gasps> it's beautiful. I'll remember that it's there. Actually, if anyone knows about my rem memory, yeah, I won't. This armor itches something awful. Hmm. This is Huxley's terminal. Stay out. This means you. Okay. Marked magazine. In the copy of Dissident Hunter, Hero braves the dangerous hellhole that is Monarch. Numerous edits are scratched into the text. A number of villainous dissidents have had mustaches and hats drawn onto them. Ah, oh, that's cute. Hey, a workbench. All right. Hope Zora sends me up next. Alright, so that place is closed down. Supplies, alright. You meditate today? If not, you should. Now what does this vending machine have? Ooh, a lift missile. Light control. Some, uh, contact barrel. Nice. Magic melt. Ooh. You have some nice things here. Telescoping, vortex, probe tossball stick. That's a sell all our junk. Yeah, it's a whole bunch of other stuff. All right, that's for something to do later. Let's not waste too much time with the vending machine. 
All right. Hello, Bradford. Ain't seen you before. You from one of the outer steads or what? Uh, let's say I'm new to Monarch and leave it there. Eh? One of them inners from T2? Welcome to the little piece of hell we reign over. I'll give you two bits worth of free advice. One, don't let the dust get in nothing private. It's like 10% spores by volume. You'll be yanking out fungus by the handful. Two, you can't actually keep the dust out. Always carry antifungals. Sprays work okay, creams are better. You got nothing else? Vodka. Thank you. Graham's in charge, right? In charge? Huh. <laughs> We're iconoclasts. Every soul a sovereign power. We do for each other on account of it needing to be done. Not because some fancy pants manager said to. Now you want to rephrase that question, maybe ask who's respected hereabouts, I can give you a sensible answer. Sorry. Uh, no disrespect intended. Ah, none taken. You're new here. Just trying to set you up with the lay of the land is all. Well, thank the you, Bradford. two names every iconoclast esteems would be Mr. Graham and Ms. Zora. And they ain't leaders, and don't you insult them by calling them such. They're more like everyone's grandparents. They've been around. They know shit. You got a problem? Best bet's to ask them. Cool. What makes them such a big deal? When the monarchists wanted to settle down and play nice with the board, Graham was the one that took a stand. He's the reason we're here, breathing free air. Zora's our best sawbones. Nearly every soul here owes her their life. She's got funny ways, but they work. Well, see you around. Well, this looks like an excellent time to take a break, so here's where I'll say thank you all for joining me. I really hope you're enjoying this series as much as I'm enjoying making it for all of you. If you do, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, all that usual YouTube stuff. You know what you're doing. And otherwise, I hope to see you all next time.